What's in the box? What's in the fucking box? Hello ladies and gents and welcome back to What's in the Box. This is a really, really, really good one today, but it's been packaged absolutely terribly as you can see. You don't put this kind of stuff in a shit bubble wrap letter, but they did anyway, you know? Well, postage and packaging is what, 15 quid? So what's the 15 quid covering? Is it covering the actual price of postage? Is it supposed to be covering postage and packaging? Like, this is bullshit because that's about 50 cent less to, to package it in a bubble wrap. Pure, utter bullshit. Just put it in a fucking shoe box. Put it in anything. Put it in a fucking cardboard box. If this is damaged, I'm gonna be very fucking, I'm gonna be very sad. Sorry to open with such a downer, but you know, that's just the way it is. I'm gonna drink my coffee and I'm gonna get it open. Good coffee. Right, that's gonna perk me up. So I'm gonna get it open as quick as possible. It's even worse than I imagined because it's actually just a fucking piece of shit, normal envelope with somebody that's put bubble wrap over the item. Yeah. Ah, uh, I hope it's not damaged. I really, really hope it's not damaged. So, ladies and gents, here it is. A Day of the Tentacle by Lucas Arts, A sequel to the well-known Maniac Mansion. And this is the Mac version. Now, I actually do have a Mac that could run this. It just needs some RAM and I haven't input RAM yet, but it was going quite cheap and that's why I got the Mac version because I actually do own a CD of the PC version as well, the PC native version. And I also do own a remastered version. This is more for the collection than anything else. A great game. I actually never played it until last year. So last year was the first time I played Day of the Tentacle. And it's one of the only, it's one of the few LucasArts games that I hadn't played as a kid. I only, only got to play it now as an adult. But I played the original version and I will at some stage try out the remastered version because I've heard the remastered version is supposed to be really good. It's supposed to take basically this art style and like one for one put it into the game because obviously the original game that was released in the early 90s is quite pixelated. But wow, that's a, it's a really, really cool cover. I love, I just love the LucasArts covers usually, but this one's like really cartoony and I can imagine if I had this as a kid, I would have just been all over it. Like I would have been all over this game. So I'm gonna take a quick look at every corner, make sure that everything's okay. Day of the Tentacle, as we can see. More Day of the Tentacle. More Day of the Tentacle. There's the bottom of the box with the computer requirements. It requires an Apple Macintosh and 100% compatible uh, Mac OS version 7.1 or higher. Wow, that's a long time ago. And a Power PC, yes. So I do actually have a Power PC, which is great. 256 color and a 13 inch or larger display required. And a hard disk is only required for saved games. Interesting thing about Day of the Tentacle, of course, at this stage in LucasArts development, the wonderful Ron Gilbert had actually left LucasArts and this is technically one of his creations along with Gary Winnick. Gary Winnick and him kind of came up for the with the idea for Maniac Mansion and this is the sequel to Maniac Mansion. But he's kind of, I like to call him the protege, Ron Gilbert's protege. Ron Gilbert's protege, Tim Schafer and Dave Grossman as well was of course one of the protégés because they both worked on Monkey Island 2 with Ron Gilbert and this is the first game that they as you can see here on the box, they were both project leads on the game. Tim Schafer and Dave Grossman, as you can see there. And they basically just took the Maniac Mansion thing and took it into a kind of a more wacky, zany kind of feel game, which it is, which is great. So I'm going to take a quick look at the back of the box here. Uh, just, it, it, just these boxes always are so much fun. They really are. Yeah, so in this game as well, I actually think some of the, these are some of the best LucasArts puzzles in the entire LucasArts adventure lineup because it plays with time travel and you go to three different time periods. You go to like, uh, I think America colonial, uh, colonial American times. You go to uh, the future, like far into the future and you stay in the present as well. And you've three characters and they, they travel to each place and you can solve puzzles with them like through time. Oh, it's, it's so zany, like you travel, how you, their time machine is a porta toilet, a porta potty like, oh, it's so funny. I'm gonna get it open and unbox this anyway. I think I am aware that this is not a complete copy of it. It doesn't have like any of the reference guides, I don't think, and I don't think it has any of like the product guides or anything, but it's the closest that I could find for as cheap as it is because the prices of these LucasArts games have gone up substantially in the last few years. So here we are, Day of the Tentacle, in a nice, just simple cardboard sleeve, a silver CD with just purple and green. Purple really is 
the LucasArts color. We of course have the manual and these manuals are long form because there is another special edition of the Data Tentacle box which looks like bananas. It's literally, it's a triangle shaped box. Like it's, it's so strange. But I think the long form manuals were made specifically for that box because of the strange geometry of that box. It's so interesting. I'd love to have one, but at the same stage, I actually don't think I would because I wouldn't be able to just put it on the shelf then. It's not a color manual. I love the way things like this are always in the manuals. Like Maniac Mansion 2, Day of the Tentacle. The game is just called Day of the Tentacle, but they go into the effort of calling it like Maniac Mansion 2, Day of the Tentacle. There's Purple Tentacle there, he's an evil mastered. What does it say here about copy protection? For those of you playing from a compact disc, and ignore this section. It never happened, it doesn't exist. These aren't the drawings you're looking for. Move along. Oh yeah, and, but wait, that's not all. There's the original Maniac Mansion in this game, which is pretty cool. You actually go into, I think Ed's room, yeah, Ed Edison. You go into Ed's room, and Ed has a computer, and you can try out Ed's computer and play Maniac Mansion. And it actually has a in-game reason, like an in-world reason as to why the game exists. And it's because the Dr. Fred, after Maniac Mansion, sold the rights to his story to a video game company to make the video game Maniac Mansion. So this is a hint book as well, as you can see, and somebody has used it. Somebody in the past needed those special hints. Day of the Tentacle was quite hard. I got really stuck on one particular part in the game quite late into the game. I, I really really did get stuck so it was nice to play this last year and to feel that feeling of getting really stuck on a puzzle for ages in a LucasArts game because I, haven't, I hadn't felt that in many many years because most modern adventure games are quite simple. So this is a full hint book. This is like everything. Yeah this literally just it gives every single thing about the game. And what's this? My Greatest Physics Adventure. A weekly multimedia experience starring Bernard Benoli. Well, that's quite nice. It's kind of building out the character of uh, Bernard via a walkthrough. This is actually just a walkthrough of the game. It do it's not giving you hints. This is like, this is what exactly what you do. But it's an in-world thing again where it's... Bernard has a little TV show. I'm sure it's a, a, a kind of like pirate TV show or whatever. He has his own little channel and he, he does episodes of what happened in the game. Coming soon, Sam and Max, The Dig, TIE Fighter and Rebel Assault. That's really nice, that's cool. Awesome. So yes, it's not a complete unboxing, but it certainly is an unboxing of Data Tentacle. I am very happy to have this now in my collection because I'm always looking to flesh out my LucasArts collection. I would love to have a complete LucasArts collection. I think that's like one of my main collecting goals as a LucasArts fanboy essentially. I just love these games. They're just, they're so, they make me, they're one of, <laughs> they're some of the few things in the world that make me truly, truly happy. Anyway, ladies and gents, I'm Jack. You're watching Hit the Snake. This has been the Day of the Tentacle unboxing in What's in the Box. Like, comment, and subscribe to Hit the Snake, please, if you are enjoying this content. And good bye! Looking at lovely things we have